Bang, what's going on my people? I said to you, we're rolling, rolling, rolling. So today, here now, I've already done the Canis Panther, you see, I'm still at straight down the line dog training and we're about to get into the Rottweilers now, yeah? It's been a bit of a breed, I've always been a bit skeptical of. My pal Liam over there, he specialises in Rottweilers and I think he's probably got the best Rottweiler or one of the hardest Rottweilers in the country right now. I don't want to get into too much, I'm going to get these man out, we're going to get the Rottweiler out and get straight into this video. Let's go. So I'm here, I'm in the building, I can't lie you lot, I am on edge. Yeah? Like, let me be real. So, this is my pal Liam, and this is his Rotty King. I'm gonna pass him the mic, and he's gonna introduce himself, and he's gonna let you lot know all about King and King's titles. Hi, everybody, this is King. This is Liam from Straight Down the Line Dog Training. Just come to introduce you to the Rottweiler, tell you what it's all about, really. So, for me, I like the temperament. I like they're more relaxed in the home, not so crazy. I can kind of, when I want to do something with the dogs, the energy's there, but when I don't want to do anything with the dogs, they're pretty chilled. I quite like the defensive character, so the territorial aggression. We live quite in a remote place, so if anyone walks past the fence and stuff like that, he will bark up and let us know that there's someone about, which is really good for us. So yeah, that, for that reason, the Rottweiler's always been a love of mine. It depends, there's a lot out there. They used to be quite cheap, so I remember looking back in the Friday ad 20 years ago and every dog was about 500 pounds and a Rottweiler was 250. Always a bit cheaper. You can get them now probably for about 1,000 pound average price. But he's a working line shepherd, um, bred by Danny Chalmers and Andy Ball. We've got Boston and Luna. Um, and the, the mix has come out great. They've done two breedings and they've all been fire. At the moment, he's got his PDC, which is his entry level for PSA, which is a sport that I'm looking to compete in. Um, so it's a basic entry level, so it's not actually a title, but he's got his certificate and we're good to go in, hopefully, in a few months' time. He is the second in the UK, and I'm hoping for him to be the first in the UK in April to have his ones. Yeah. And if, he, if we get to our twos, I believe, he will be the only Rottweiler to have the level two in PSA in the world. Oh. Yeah, we can do a little bit. So I'm going to train with food. I click with my tongue. So when I click with my tongue, he should come racing towards me to get his food. So right, we'll do well. some bits and bobs. Sit. Platz. Stand. So I click and he comes to me, gets his food. Good boy. Good boy. Fuss. A little bit sloppy, so I'll just try and tune him up a bit. Puss, sit. Puss. Puss, sit. Target. Bit. Flats. Stand. Sit. Side. Puss. Yeah, that's a good boy. Good boy. Puss. Target. Touch. Yeah, good boy. Platz. Puss. Target. Pet. Platz. So as I told you lot, Rottweilers and me, it's been a bit skeptical. The training and the level of training that I'm seeing going on here right now, straight down the line dog training, is crazy. It's crazy. And he could do this with all dogs as well. Don't ever get it twisted as well with Liam, yeah? Like, he could do this with all dogs, but this is his dog of preference, isn't it, yeah? How long you been training Liam again? Uh, for about 13 years. 13 years of training, so make sure you lot follow the Instagram I'm gonna put it up in there as well and stuff like that. Me and Liam, we're gonna be getting a lot of content now, a lot of dog content, a lot of training content for you guys to see because you've been asking me about training. I know he's got some tips as well. You got some tips for the XL bullies and stuff, ain't ya? Always got the tips. He's always got the tips and he's always willing to help. So right now, you've just seen King like under serious control all of that obedience, even, even the wall touch and stuff. Now we're gonna see King get into some actual protection work and do you know what I mean doing what he's bred to do man so yeah Liam let's Hi. take over and um, you're going to explain to these lot about the protection now and what the routine is yeah, yeah. let's get into it let's go cool so we're going to do some protection with King um, basically we're looking for 
a fast entry with King because it's not that prey driven Mali where they come in so fast. We've got to try and create that speed as much as we can. So we've been doing resistance training with that. Um, so hopefully he's going to come in faster than he usually does. Nath will catch him and then we're going to get him to push into the grip and hopefully push nicely um, and keep a nice calm emotional state really because he can get a bit in his head because he's a defensive breed which can create him to bit pull a bit and take it a bit too serious. So we're just trying to calm him down to say it's easy, it's cool. Um, and that's the plan really. So we've got a leg sleeve here, number four, so it's quite hot, one of the thickest ones we can get. And we're just putting a bit of extra padding with a puppy sleeve down there as well. Reason being, these sleeves are so big, um, there's a bit, lot of gap there, so we want to try and fill that gap. And then what we're going to do when King does a number of pushes and when we're happy, Nath will pull the little stick out the back, which will make the sleeve open up, and then King will win the sleeve, and that'll be his win for pushing. Okay, so I'm gonna call him into my heel. King, boots! Boots. Okay, so I'm giving the watching command, and that should kick him into barking. The decoy will play a little dance with the dog to encourage that forward barking, and then when I'm happy, I'm gonna send him for the bite. Okay, so when they're ready, decoy, yeah. Watch him. Good lad. Watch him. Good boy. Good lad. Watch him, boy. Good lad. Okay, you ready? Good lad. Good lad. Keep coming if you want. Watch him. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Stop him. Good boy, King. Good boy. And I'm going to get involved with him now a little bit. Good boy, King. Good boy. Good lad. Good boy. Good lad. Nice. Puss. Okay, so this time I'm going to give him the bark command. I'm going to look for a bit more barking. So I want the decoy to activate him a bit little more. And then the dog's going to bring the decoy in. And then we're going to send him from that. Okay, so watch him. Good lad. Watch him, boy. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Good lad. Yep. Stop him. Good boy, King. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, King. Good lad. Good lad. You lot see the Rottweiler. Yo, you lot see the Rottweiler. Yeah? Make sure you lot like, comment, and subscribe. Because I told you I'm coming with the content now. What are you looking at, King? What are you fucking. Oh, shit! Go on! Oh, shit!